हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो एज यू गाइस ऑलरेडी नो दैट वेलोरेंट हैज बीन मूव्ड फ्रॉम अनरियल इंजन 4 टू अनरियल इंजन 5 एंड मॉडल एक्सट्रैक्शन टूल्स लाइक वेलोरेंट पोर्टिंग आर नॉट वर्किंग बट वी कैन स्टिल एक्सपोर्ट वेलोरेंट 3D मॉडल्स यूजिंग एन एप्लीकेशन कॉल्ड एफ मॉडल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट वेलोरेंट मॉडल्स यूजिंग एफ मॉडल एंड आल्सो हाउ टू इंपोर्ट दोस मॉडल्स इनटू ब्लेंडर बिकॉज़ पीपल आर वेरी कंफ्यूज्ड हाउ टू इंपोर्ट द एक्सट्रैक्टेड मॉडल इनटू ब्लेंडर सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू टू वेज ऑफ इंपोर्टिंग द एक्सट्रैक्टेड मॉडल इनटू ब्लेंडर आइदर बाय PSK PSA प्लगइन और बाय UE फॉर्मेट प्लगइन सो आई विल टेल यू द both format you decide what is better for you okay so let's get started so for downloading f model application you just need to search f model on your browser and the first website that appears is the f model website just open it and here you can find the download link so just download this application okay so friends as you can see that we have already downloaded the f model application so just double click to run it and here we need to specify the game pack file location not the game file location okay so first of all we need to find where our game is downloaded so we will open riot client click on this account option and then click on settings here here you can see valorant and here is the install location so our in our case the install location is d riot games okay so just close it and then we again open f model and then click on this three dots here you can see three dots just click on this three dot go to the d drive riot games and here you can find valorant so just double click on it and then again double click on live double click on shooter game then content and then packs and now you need to select folder you can see this is a pack folder now you need to click on select folder okay so once we have clicked on select folder now we need to specify the ue version this one is wrong just click on this drop down and search valorant here you can see there is an option called game valorant ue 5.3 just click on it and then press okay button so friends as you can see that the pack files have been loaded but some of the pack files are in red color which means these pack files are locked and they need to be unlocked with some key so i will give this key in youtube video description you can simply copy this key and then click on this directory option and then click on this es option and paste the key here and then press okay button you can see that all the pack files are now unlocked okay now we need to add the mapping files because after the valorant update it requires mapping files to show you the models correctly so now we need to click on this settings option and then click on this general then click on this local mapping files and here we need to click on this three dot okay and i will give you the mapping files in youtube video description you can simply download the files there so you can see this is the valorant us map mapping file just select it and then press open button you can see now our mapping files has been assigned now press okay button and now we are ready to load our pack file so just press load button and wait for some time so friends as you can see that our pack files has been loaded and this is the place where you will find character models gun skin models and animation files i will tell you the location of character models and then i will tell you the location of gun models okay and after that i will tell you how to export them and import them into blender so first of all if you want to find characters just click on this shooter game and then click on this content and then click on this character drop down menu these are all the code name of different characters okay suppose i click on this cable drop down menu click on this season 0 and then click on this 3p 3p means third person model we want to preview the third person model and click on double click on this models folder here you can find many different files but this skeleton mesh one is our main model okay so just double click on it and here you can see this is the deadlock model now i will tell you where to find the gun models so if i close this and again go to this content folder and then click on this equipables folder here you will find guns folder in this all the guns are available just click on this drop down and then click on let's click on rifles let's click on ak and uh, let's uh, preview this hype wish and then click on this first person and then click on models and let's preview this one just double click on it you can see this is the prime vendor model so this is where you will find the gun models so i hope you understand how to preview the models now i will tell you how to export this model and import them into blender let's start with characters so friends for exporting any 3d model with the help of f model we need to first choose the 3d model right format 
and for that we need to click on this settings option and then click on this models option here you can find mesh format okay so there are two ways either you select PSK or PSKX option or you can select UE format so first of all I will tell you how to use this UE format option okay so just select this UE format for now and then press ok button okay right now we will export deadlock character so again we will go to this characters folder and then click on this cable option and then again third person we will export the third person model you can either select first person or character select but for now I will export the third person model so just click on this drop down double click on models and this one is the deadlock model so just right click here and then click on save model option not in extract new tab click on save model so just click on this option and wait for some time you can see once the model has been exported it will give you the save location of that model so just click on it and you can see this is the folder where the deadlock model has been saved now we need to import it into blender and for importing we need a plugin called ue format okay so friends i will give you this website link in youtube video description from here you need to click on this blender and here you will get the blender plugin so just click on this code and then click on download zip okay and then press ok so you need to download this plugin and once you have downloaded this plugin just go to the blender and then delete everything here press edit then click on this preferences and then click on add-ons here click on this drop down option and then click on install from disk and go to that place where you have downloaded that plugin so i have downloaded in this downloads and then compressed here you can see ue format blender dot zip this is our plugin so just click on it and then click on install from disk okay so once you can see here it says installed ioc in ue format if you want to check you can search ue format here you can see the plugin has been installed and a tick has been done on it, it which means this plugin is enabled so once you have done this just right click here and then click save preferences now you can click on this file and then click on import you will find here two more options name ue model and ue anim ue model is for 3d models ue anim is for animations on those models okay so first of all we will import the uh, deadlock model just click on this unreal ue model and go to that place where your uh, deadlock model has been exported so i will click on this f model and you can see it says where our model has been exported just click here and copy this file location and open your blender and paste that file location here here you can see our deadlock model just select it and then press import model and wait for some time you can see right now our deadlock model has been imported and it looks pretty good okay so this is how you import the 3d models using ue format option now i will tell you how to import the 3d models using psk psa model so first of all you need the plugin and also you need to change go to the f model click on settings and here in models you need change you need to change the mesh format into actor psk pskx okay so once you have changed that just press ok and then again export this click on this save model and this time it will be saved in psk psa format you can see that our deadlock models has been saved and if i click here you can see this time it is psk file earlier it was u model file so right now i will tell you how to import psk files first of all you need the plugin so friends for PSK PSA, I will give you this website link in YouTube video description. Here you need to click on this 4.0 latest because we need to download the latest version. And here you can see this is IO import Unreal PSK PSA. This one is our plugin. So just download it. Just click on it and it will download. So I will click on, I will download it in downloads folder. So just save here. And again, open your blender. Click on this edit preferences, add-ons. Click on this drop down, install from disk click on downloads folder and you can see this is our psk psa add-on just select it and then press install from disk and for checking just search psk psa yeah so it has the plugin has been installed and it is also enabled so again we can click on this save preferences now if i click on this file import and then here you will find two more options again skeleton mesh psk skeleton any psa so we will import the psk because we are importing mesh just click on it and again go to the file where you have saved your deadlock model in psk format so i have saved here just copy this location 
and go to the blender and then paste that location here you can see this is the psk format deadlock so just select it and then press import psk and you can see that the psk model has also been imported technically both methods are same and i don't find any differences using both i personally use both sometime i use ue format and sometime i use psk psa format it's up to you what you want to use and what you prefer so this was today's tutorial in which I have told you how to import uh, the model into Blender, how to extract them using F model. And after some time, I think Valorant porting will also be updated and it will work with the current Unreal Engine version of Valorant. But for now, F model is working and this is the way you can export the models. In next video, if you want, I will make a texturing tutorial because this model don't have texture. And also I will in future, I will make an animation video, how to export animation and apply the animations of this model. So I hope you like today's video. Till then, goodbye guys. Your favorite YouTuber, Warlords Tutorial. Thank you again and please make sure to subscribe my channel. See you later guys.